Hey, welcome or welcome back on Cisco and on this video clip we're going to talking about rational exp exponents and how to simplify them. So first of all this is what we call rational exponents, right? And we do have something like this a to the power of 1 over n, right? This is a rational exponent is n root is called, right? The number of a. So basically here uh, 49 to the 1 half means Square root of 49. You don't really have to write that too, right? This is a that is an invisible true. It's just square root of 49, which is 7. Okay. Uh, what about uh, number 3? Right. Number 3 is similar. This one is going to be cubic root, right? So this index of the radical is the uh, denominator of your rational expo exponent. And negative 60 for the quantity goes under the radical and here the question is what raised to the third power what raised to the third power is negative 64 and that will be negative 4 so that's the reason the answer for this problem is negative 4 okay pause this video clip and try number uh, 2 and 4 If you end up with this answer 3 and 9, then you did a wonderful job. What about uh, this one? Right. This one similar with the other. This would be 4 root of 81. What number raised to the 4 power is 81? And that will be nothing else than 3. Okay, so 4 root of 81 is 3. Okay, what about... What about this one? Eh? This one we have a negative exponent. Eh? If we, we have a negative exponent, we can use the reciprocal of that expression and change the exponent to a positive exponent. So here we have 1 over 16 to the 1 fourth. And now we're going to use the rational uh, exponent. We're going to change it in a radical form. And we're going to have 4 root of 16 here as a denominator, 1 over 16. 4 root of 16, which is 1 over 2. Pause this video clip and try number 6 and uh, 8. If you end up with these two answers, 2 for number 6 and 1 third for number 8, you did a wonderful job. All these answers can be checked with a uh, calculator, a scientific calculator, but try to do it without. Now, this one, this one, if you notice, is a little bit different. We still have rational exponents, however, the uh, numerator at the top of the fraction for the rational exponent is not 1 anymore. But we have a similar rule a to the m over n, right? We have nth root of a to the m. That is one way. The one that I'm going to use it is going to be this one. Uh, n root of a and everything raised to the m power. So we have these two choices. Like I said, most of the time, I'm going to use this one. So let's see how that works. And we have here, uh, what? We have nth root, I mean third root, in fact, right? Of negative 8. And now I'm going to put the second power here. Why do I say that? Because I can do third root of negative 8. That is negative 2. Raised to the second power, that will be 4. What about number E11? Okay, number E11, we have what? Square root of 9, right? This is the because of the index 2. 
and then raise to the third power. Square root of 9 is 3, raise to the third power is 27. Pause this video clip and try number 10 and 12. If you, end up, uh, if you end up with uh, 9 for number 10 and 125 for number 12, then you did a wonderful job. Similar here, we're going to have, what, 5th root of negative 32. We don't really need a parenthesis here. Raised to the second power. 5th root of negative 32 is negative 2. Raised to the second power, that will be positive 4. What about number 15? Number 15 we have third, oops, don't forget, we have a negative exponent. So first of all, we need to change that negative exponent in a positive exponent. And then we have 1 over cubic root of negative 27. And that cubic root raised to the second power. So we're going to end up with 1 over cubic root of negative 27 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared. So the answer will be 1 over 9. Go ahead and try number 14 and 16. If we end up with this two answer for number 16, we did a wonderful job. 2, 43, and 1, 8. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down, right? And come back on C-square for more math video clip. Thank you.